Here's a picture of the oscillator, 1.47 megahertz. I wanted to show that first. This is the one from DigiKey, and I'll show you where I got, how I got the information for it. I'm going to look at frequency counter and look at the frequency, how well it is. And so there it is. You can see it's, what, one cycle off, one digit off anyway, but it's, so it looks really good at 1.47 megahertz. It's very stable. So again, looking back at the circuit here, uh, Again, looking at how I put it together, see I had one of these terminal strips there. You can see the, uh, the MOSFET driver I see there. Anyway, I came up with that, and that's all. Uh, this is running on 5 volts, and so is that. That, uh, that chip can take up to like 18 volts, and uh, it's good up to like 14 amps peak. It's matching network, uh, these capac capacitors and this coil, and it feeds the bottom end of this coil. Then of course it uh, will zip into the top tank, or the top of the coil, and has this uh, tank capacitor, uh, two net for peak, and then a coupling capacitor there, and then it goes into the 6DQ6. Okay, so it has this parasitic choke on the top. It works very nicely, and a typical plate choke. And here's the uh, output uh, coil. That's the load capacitor. And this is the plate tune cap. And it goes out here to the uh, connector. And over here to the dummy load. I would mentioned earlier I put some plate suppression on the And they're just 100 ohm resistors. I think I'll change them to 50 or even 10 ohms because eh, that tends to drop a little bit, but it, it does work. It does work quite nicely, those resistors in the plate circuits. And of course, then it comes down over here, it transitions and goes into the modulation transformer, which I have put in oil. This developed an arc, so now it's okay. You can see that. Yeah, and then the modulation choke is right here. That goes down into this circuit. This is the input transformer to the modulator. And I'm driving that with a small solid state amp. And in here I also have, oh yeah, it starts from here and it's a small feedback network audio feedback, which feeds back about 10 dB of uh, audio. That's the plate current meter for the modulator. Yeah, I'm going to go over here. And that's the plate current for the RF, for the uh, final. Okay, so there's that. And I've already demonstrated this in the other video. Um, it worked really well. I mean, I was really impressed with they, these things are pretty much just loafing compared to the uh, a pair of 6BQ5s. They're EL84s, I think. These aren't bad tubes. They actually work quite well, but they're expensive. So I use the 6DQ6s. These look a little different, but I actually found a matched set of these tubes that uh, actually, even though they look different, they have the same um, specifications. The idle current is same and they just work real nice. I was real impressed with that. This is the power supply. It's an ATX box. Here I have the wires. So it, it's got regulated 440 volts plate voltage. Provides filament voltage too. That's not regulated though. Filament volt. 6 volts AC runs the filaments of these tubes. Of course uh, got bias for the tubes here with this little transformer bed in reverse. It's connected in reverse um, from the filaments. It's like 6 volts to 120 volts AC. Then I rectify that, filter it, and then run it through the pot here. And I can just uh, adjust the uh, idle current. In the this is the, I got a 12 to 5 volt regulator here. And that provides 5 volts to this oscillator, which works quite nicely and also 5 volts to this driver. That will take 
more. I think I mentioned that. Yeah. It's just it's loafing now. <laughs> to drive the grid of this tube, it doesn't take a lot at all. I was going to show you the uh, RF envelope on this. This is without modulation. This is one KC tone. You can see these troughs look beautiful and the peaks. I got a little bit on the I've enlarged it on enlarged it on the scope here, so you can see just how they look. The the peaks and the troughs are quite nice. Uh -huh. And I'll put it down there. I'll show you. I can hit it even harder, and it'll it'll easily do uh, 100. I know it's clipping on the negative peaks, but the positive it'll easily do uh, 125 percent if I wanted it to. This is a really nice waveform. That's one kilohertz. Take a peek at the uh, modulator now. These two, okay, so they're resting at 30 milliamps. It says microamps on it, but I've uh, strapped it for milliamps, so it's good. Shunted it, rather. Uh, so that's 30 milliamps, and at 100% modulation, it whacks about 100, uh, 100 milliamps. That's at a hundred. That's at a hundred percent right there. Hundred milliamps on push pull. These are actually class A B two because uh, they are pulling some grid current on peaks, and they just they're ex excellent tubes for the price. Gosh, these things are they're pretty cheap and pretty inexpensive. Yeah. There's the plate milliamps. It's sitting along about. 60, 61 milliamps for this tube here. Okay, and the output, and I'll modulate it. It's steady as a rock. So I go over here, modulation. I can still just crawls up just a tiny bit there. It's, it's all, it's pretty much 61 milliamps still. So that's at 100 percent. Now I'll knock the modulation off. And it rests again at 30 milliamps. I can dip the plate. Here we are. So I can dip it, right? There's uh, one side. There's the other side of the dip. So I uh, dip it for efficiency. And you dip it all the way down and then uh, bring it up a few milliamps or so. And that's the... I checked the efficiency on this. It's like 72% plate efficiency on this tube. 428 plate volts, 61 milliamps. That's no modulation, and it's usually that way with modulation too. Okay, I'm going to give a demonstration of uh, this transmitter now, and I've got a show queued up and ready here. I recorded from NBC Online. I've processed it for AM, and away we go. You're listening to NBC News Radio. Private sector hiring is still solid and better than expected. Payroll processor ADP in Moody's says 195,000 private sector jobs were added in August, almost 50,000 more than most forecasts. Worker productivity is improving, but labor costs are rising even more. The Labor Department says productivity improved 2.3% in the second quarter, but unit labor costs rose 26 potentially cutting into corporate profits. The service sector, the biggest part of the economy, is picking up steam ahead. The supply manager's index was a few points higher in August than July, and it's been expanding for 115 straight months now, or nine and a half years. Mixed news on factory orders, the headline number shows total orders jumped 1.4% in July, but that was driven by civilian well, aircraft do that. orders, mostly for Boeing, stripping the staff down to the core, orders only increased two-tenths, and the shipment of goods fell six-tenths. And Facebook is getting into the dating game. The social network launched Facebook dating here in the U.S. this week. It's been operating already in 19 other countries. Consumer and Business News, Joe McConnell, NBC News Radio. You're listening to NBC News Radio. 100%. She can't pay the shrine. Halsey says she regrets dating G-Eazy. The 24-year-old singer tells Cosmopolitan she's stronger for having survived their intense romance. After breaking up last summer, she realized how she had been mistreated in a dysfunctional relationship. Very nice AM envelope. Halsey has happily rebounded with British rocker Youngblood, who she's been dating for more than a year. It's me. 
I was wondering. Adele says she feels like a new person after splitting from her longtime boyfriend. People reports the 31-year-old singer has been spending time on her own self-improvement and feels free and spirited. You can now find love on Facebook in the U.S. Social network bringing its dating feature to the 50 states, with the U.S. now the 20th country to have matchmaking access. I like to listen to the, the side allows watch. anyone with a Facebook account who is 18 or older to set up a dating profile from within their mobile app. Like most dating services, you can set preferences for matches based on factors including distance, age, religion, and height. And control of a dating profile good is side friends, energy. friends of friends and non-friends. Samsung says for real, this time it promises that it's fixed its foldable phone and it will be available in Korea this week. Let's listen to KLB now. Back in a minute. About one in three seniors are injured in a fall every year while climbing in a regular bathtub. Sometimes it can even be fatal. Truth is, we all take a risk when climbing in and out of a bathtub. And how often... 1470 now. ...to Vegas. Eventually, it will expand to states where sports betting is legal. Tech Report, Larry Olson, NBC News Radio. Sounds as good. This is NBC News Radio. On iHeartRadio. NBC News Radio, I'm Brian Shook. Hurricane this conditions good are expected to continue for fidelity. South Carolina for a few more hours. The National Hurricane Center says the center of the Category 2 storm will keep moving closer Very to nice. the South Carolina coast. Has seen nine inches of rain already. Voters who want to help in recovery efforts in the Bahamas are being told to stay away until conditions improve. Coast Guard officials say they know people want to help in the aftermath of Dorian. However, they could be putting their lives and the lives of others providing assistance on the islands at risk. MSU has signed a resolution agreement that outlines the measures the school must take going forward. The fine is the largest ever given to a university over Title IX violations. Tom Roberts, NBC News Radio. With protest organizers saying Lamb must agree to all of their demands, which include an inquiry into police brutality and a call for her to resign. Bill Zemper, NBC News Radio. U.S. Middle East envoy Jason Greenblatt is leaving the Trump administration. President Trump confirmed the departure in a tweet praising Greenblatt's dedication to Israel and to seeking peace between Israel and the Palestinians. Here's the schematic to the oscillator and the driver and I've uh, not designed. Here again is the DigiKey oscillator, DigiKey part number, and there it is. Okay. And attic layout. Okay. Anyway, here it is in the circuit, uh, the way I drew it up. And it drives this, there's the, uh, that's a FET driver, a MOSFET driver. And there's the number for that. There's the output that feeds, that drives the uh, coil, the driver of the transmitter. Now we'll uh, look at the rest of the transmitter. The power supply I designed in a somewhat semi-block diagram. Okay. I got a filament on and a, a B plus on relay in this, which is remotely activated. And I bring it out to pins like this. Okay. Uh, let's see, here's the HV regulator circuit. Nothing too fancy. He's got Zener diodes and I've got Zener buffer circuit here. Keeps the Zener stable. It's a brief look at it. This works real good. It maintains the regulation to 4, 440 output under all modulator loads. 0% modulation to 110, 120%. This is really stable. And there's, well, let's see. I also had a logic circuit I put on this thing, but I'm not using it uh, for, to control the filament and filament and so on. That's what this circuit is. I'm not using it in this particular one, though. Well, here's the overall schematic of the transmuter. Yeah. The oscillator circuit drives the uh, driver chip, that one we saw. And then here's the matching circuit I made for it. Over here we got drives a 60Q5 and then the wonderful modulator. See, even have some uh, negative audio feedback to keep it as linear as possible. And uh, this is like a 8 watt amplifier which don't even use a watt to drive these guys but uh, anyway 
That's the uh, output of the 60 Q6s. Here's the bias circuit. Had to play a little biasing trick using uh, plus 12 and and minus 60 volts negative. I won't go into it a lot. It's just a trick I used. And then, of course, the three filaments coming in from the 6.3 volt side. Okay. And down here I show uh, my my screen dropping circuit. It's actually off of the regulated B plus, so everything's well regulated in this. So there it is. That's actually the uh, whole transmitter schematic and all right there.